Hello everyone, my name is Kira. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make a Hylian shield from The Legend of Zelda. It's Link's shield. It's like the coolest looking thing ever. The one I modeled this one after was from, I believe it's from Breath of the Wild. I'll show a picture right here so you guys know what I'm talking about. And it gets put together by a whole bunch of random pieces and a whole bunch of different materials. So if you guys have any questions throughout this video, please comment below. I will do my best to answer for you. And without further ado, let's see what happens to make the shield come to life. So I started out with these planks from Home Depot. I think they're four by six by eight feet, I believe. I cut them into, I think, 22 inch pieces. And then I used a ton of wood glue in between each one to stick them together. Pretty sure I went through at least two bottles of wood glue to do this, just to make sure that they were really nice and stuck together and this was gonna last. Cause sometimes those Home Depot boards can warp over time cause they still have a little moisture. So make sure you're getting it nice and coated and using clamps to tighten them together while they dry. Then when it's all finally glued, I get to start the carving. Got my jaw horse here and I clamped it in. Of course, I did have to draw the shape of the shield on. I just did a rough sketch here to cut out the initial shape to start. I was initially gonna carve the shapes and stuff on the front of it, which is why you see them drawn here. And I changed my mind on that and decided to attach them with other stuff. You're gonna see me working around all this one. I could have just erased it and smoothed the whole thing out to start. It would have saved me a lot of time. Seems like this is how all my projects are. I start with one idea in my head and then I go through about seven different ideas before I get to the one that I'm like, that's the way I wanna do it. Then I used a die grinder just to smooth the edges up a little bit and add a few details on the, the little indents on the side. Here's when I finally realized, hey, I don't want to carve those in here. I want to attach them. And I just smoothed everything out, cut it all off and made a nice smooth shield to work with. And you see me carving the back here. The back was still planks, so I had to smooth it off at least enough so you couldn't see the cracks through it. And then the back does have a little bit of detail. I'll show you right here what I was kind of going for. And it also helped take away some of the weight of the wood. It's hard to get nice sharp edges with anything really, but a Dremel. So I use a Dremel tool here to clean up the edges, make everything kind of sharp. And then I went and did the same thing on the back side as well. I believe I used a 60 grit sander for this to just, you know, the grinder kind of leaves marks. And of course I didn't make it perfect, but I did get it smoothed up a little bit. And of course, as you carve in, you see the spots you miss with the glue. So then I use some Gorilla Glue to fill these cracks. This just reinforces it and makes it, you know, even more tough. Just to last a little bit longer, it'll crack less, it will warp less, and also it fills the cracks so when I paint it, it looks awesome. Look at how much sawdust came out of that shield. It's like it was bigger than the shield. That's why I'm showing it to you. I was just shocked at the amount of stuff that came off that thing. Here I'm using my X tool. I decided I didn't want to do tiny little detail carve on something that was symmetrical on both sides. I really wanted the bird crest to be perfect. So I took it into my laser engraver, lasered it. I did a score mark around the outside and I also engraved it. So it has a little bit more texture than the rest of the shield. And that way it gives me a really nice, perfect stencil to paint on. And yes, I could have left it burnt wood, I thought about leaving it burnt wood and not painting it, but I really wanted this to look just like Link's shield.
This is blue metallic paint I just randomly happened to have. I don't know if I could have found this if I wanted to at the store. And yes, I get it all over my hands because that's just how I do things. And this is metallic silver. Then I took a paintbrush and just cleaned up the edges because I wanted it to be sharp. Ah, always love peeling tape up. Even if it bleeds in a little, it was almost perfect. This is just red paint to fill in the spot. It was really pretty wood and I was so close to almost leaving it just wood, burnt wood color, but I decided I liked the red. This is the cosplay foam clay I was talking about. And if I could go back and do this over again, I would not use that stuff for this particular project. It's excellent for other things, but for this, it caused me so much grief. Only because I'm impatient and I needed to get this done quickly because like I said, it was a present for my brother's birthday. So I just cut out the shape of the little decals out of foam first and then cosplay foam clay went over it. Then I had to wait for it to dry. I dremeled it and I filled the little air bubbles that it had with putty and I let that dry. Then I realized I didn't like the shape of them. They were too poofy and too like rounded. So this was a several day thing that went back and forth and back and forth, taking it down, letting it dry, filling with putty, not liking it. It was a mess. So if I could do this over again, I would just make this out of three layers of cosplay foam and then carve that. But it did work out in the end. So here you see me doing the Triforce symbol over again, and that's what I did. Three layers of cosplay foam so that I could carve it right away, because you can carve cosplay foam. It's already dry, but with the clay, you have to wait like three days for that stuff to dry to carve it well, and I just did not have the patience for it. So I actually took the Triforce off and redid the Triforce because I didn't like the way that it looked. It was too poofy and round for me, and I just could not dremel it down the way I wanted to. But the three layers of cosplay foam worked great. So I went back with the blue metallic spray paint and I just got all the edges perfect from anything that I had messed up along the way. And you, I probably skipped it, but I did spray this several, several times with this clear gloss. I really like this stuff for getting a really good glossy shine. It's almost like a layer of plastic over stuff. And I don't like that with a lot of wood carvings, but for the shield, I wanted it to shine whenever you moved it around. So it was perfect. All right, this is a belt from Walmart. It was $8 and I bought two. I attached them with screws and washers just so that they were held down the leather. And I had to do this several times because I could not get the pl placement right. I kept picking it up and the shield was kind of top heavy and wanting to fall. So I had to move the belt, the belt loops up above that middle piece and it was awesome that way. To make it comfortable so that you don't have like scratchy wood on your arm, I put three layers of cosplay foam above the leather straps and that way it kind of covers the bolts and you don't get the bolts rubbing on your arm either and this worked out really perfect. It's actually really comfortable. I'm surprised at how comfortable this turned out. I did throughout the project punch a few extra holes with a leather puncher just so that when I hang it on the stand that I'm making it, it can be nice and secure on there. And of course, if you're making a shield, you gotta have a stand. And that thing is heavy, so I was gonna originally hang it on a wall, but it was just a little too heavy. I didn't feel comfortable making it a wall hanger. So what I did is I created a stand. I wanted something like Legend of Zelda E, so I was going for like tree roots or something. I don't know. So I used the same wood that I made the shield out of and a couple other square pieces of wood that I had. I cut a piece of wood about the height that I wanted it to be and then I cut four legs. These other thin pieces of wood are gonna be used for something else you'll see in a second. So I glued the four legs and then I attached L brackets just to make sure it dried nice and sturdy. And I used this two and a half inch hole saw on the skinnier pieces of wood that I cut. And you'll see why in just a little bit here. And I did cut four holes with the hole saw. So 
So I took these pieces of wood with the holes and I glued them and also screwed them down just to make sure they stayed secure since I didn't get to clamp those down. So then I used those little corner pieces just to make it more of a fluid shape going up into the main stand that holds the shield, just so it's not so blocky. Then when the whole thing was dry, I got my chainsaw out. Pretty much just did lines down the whole thing and I'll do a close up for you to see in a second of just, I don't know, tree texture. It's just kind of wavy lines, kind of meant to look like more of a natural texture than just flat pieces of wood. And I did that throughout the whole thing. And then I went back and grinded it just to make things a little more smooth. I made sure there were no sharp edges and added a few extra squigglies. Of course there was cracks again because gluing is almost never perfect on the first try. So I used glue and sawdust, filled that stuff and waited for it to dry again. And then after the glue was dry, I cleaned it all up. I cleaned the base up so it sat nice and level. And then I used a Sandoflex sander to make everything smooth to the touch and give it kind of a soft look. This is just the flat plank that I used as an arm, which is where the shield sits. I also textured around it just a little bit so it wasn't such a square, but it has some texture on it. This is just dark walnut stain to give it more of a tree look and less of a plank look. I did wipe it down with a paper towel just to lighten up a few spots and give it some variation. And I also did the same thing with a sandal flex to sand a little bit of it back just to give it some lighter spots and darker spots. Once that was dry, I took that outside and applied a clear coat to it as well. So it kind of had the same like sheen as the shield. Back to the X-Tool laser again. I'm cutting out some plaques. Like I said, this is a gift from my brother and it says for Brosa from Kira on it. Above that is a quote from Link. And as you know, Link doesn't really talk, but he does make a lot of noises. So it's just a bunch of noises that sound like Link noises as a quote. And the second plaque is a little one that I put up front and it says, it's dangerous to go alone, take this. I love that quote. The internet loves that quote. Most people know that quote. I don't know if everyone knows it's from Zelda. You can't have a shield stand without cool touch lights that turn different colors. That's what these holes were that I cut with the hole saw. They're for these puck lights so you can click them on and it also comes with a remote. I panicked the last two days when I was finishing this and I thought I need to dress up as Link. So I went and found as much stuff as I could as quickly as I could. So here is my makeshift Link outfit to go with the shield. And I did actually attach hardware to the back you can't see. So you can carry it around instead of just holding it on your arm, you can actually carry the shield around on your back. I'm not gonna have this shield again cause like I said, I gave it to my brother, but I might end up making a sword to go with it for him that can hang on the back of the stand as well. I think that'd be really cool. So if you guys wanna see that stick around, it's so shiny. It's nice and heavy. It's gonna last forever. I wish I still had it. I need to make myself one because it is so cool. This is one of my favorite projects I did. It took so long just because of all the wait time in between where I was having to wait for the clay to dry or the, the paint to dry or the cosplay foam to dry or something. I hope you guys will stick around to see my next videos. Give it a like if you wanna see more like this and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. lift up my chair. I don't know how it gets so short.
better, I think. Starting over. Can't neglect the backside. Hey. Sorry. Ugh. Sorry. Ugh. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Take 46. 